both um, be overdressed, not under. Dress like you want to be the CEO or you are the CEO rather than a salesman. So if you're meeting with somebody who you know just got off of work, wear the suit. Look, always look the more professional out of the two. Layers are really important. If you're going, you start off with a dress shirt, but just make sure it's fitted to your body. Nothing too big that's gonna look sloppy. And then ha always have a blazer or a tie in your car that you can throw on later. Maybe a darker colored dress shirt would be good only because it's not gonna show the dirt as much. You would want to do something with a padded sole. Definitely something if you're gonna be walking around on your feet, you're gonna want all that padding on the inside. Stay with the softer sole on the bottom as well. Something with a hard wood is gonna really wear on your feet after a while. If you can afford one pair, buy the black. Mm -hmm. Because if you're going to have a navy and a charcoal, you can wear them with both. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're going to invest in two different pairs, obviously a brown and a black, get the reversible belt. So you're buying one piece. Um, men with pleated pants and cuffs at the bottom. It, it was the thing back in the 90s or 80s. It really just needs to taper off and go away. It, it, pleats make the guy look bigger. And most guys don't want to look bigger, and, you know. Um, and cuffs are always going to make a guy look shorter. Don't go for the loose fit. I mean, there's a lot of athletic or loose fits out there, and it just, it doesn't do anything for any man. I put together something called a lookbook. It's just a quick reference that they can use to easily get dressed in the morning and not even think about it.